Hello, Penguin here playing Spirit Island once again. Today I'm going to be playing Shroud of Silent Mist against Sweden. Uh, I'm not familiar with the spirit at all, so do not expect great gameplay. <laughs> uh, Stare the highest down in wetland and mountain. Alright, initial explorer is wetlands, royal backing is in jungle. So, that's kind of rough, huh? I guess I'll play it here. There will be double blinding here. Hmm. I will start with growth too to get energy out. I guess I do have to do something like this. Play the fog, closes in, and ready to go. Darn, that's a good one, actually. Alright, they're gonna build in the wetlands, explore in the sands. Alright. This game is gonna be really rough, actually, now that I think about it. What will I do? I do have... Oh, I don't even have the one damage. Hmm. Is there any world where I actually do... Unnerving Paul next turn. If that's the case. If we gather this guy or push this to Han out. I think that the hunt needs to die, actually. I can't. I'll do the Han push here. And, and uh, I'll gather like that. To the Jason land. Um, if the fog closes in, I guess I will do it here and then gather one presence like that and do one damage to everything. Okay. Time's gotta pass, so I'll get one fear. I'll do growth three, I guess. Maybe I can get a miner to get in help. Ooh. Okay. Doesn't exactly solve the problem, but it helps. Favor actually helps kind of a lot. Ah, man. All right, let's do it. We'll get one energy. Favor and under big Paul. Energy from a track. I thought I'd go into a mountain or a jung or a wetland, so I guess I'll go here. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. Uh, with favor, I will. Gather this guy in and defend for four here. Nerving Paul, I'll get one fear. Let's 
skip these guys and gather this guy back out. I could also actually gather him in, into here even. Not bad actually. All right, this actually seems fun to me. Let's go on to the event. Hope that the event is useful. I need the beast. Okay, that works. Uh, oh, the town with the most towns. Replace two towns with. I would replace the corner one of the city. Push out two explorers or one town from one beast. That is fine. Do something like that. Defend two. Okay. So weapons will ravage. I will make them do one damage to each thing. So I want to. I kind of want to like uh, let the town live. These aren't participating. Sand will build though, and explore in the coastal lands. Okay, that's kind of scary. That's actually kind of very scary, huh? Especially the sand down here that I can't really deal with. I don't have any slows either, so I guess time will pass. I gotta do growth too, I need to get two energy. Oh, I need to get two fear as well. Okay, growth two. I need these fear cards to carry me, I think. Because this is getting a little scary now, I won't lie. Um, I will play these two cards because I don't have much else to play. Oh, I need one more moon. Oh well. Uh, I'll do flowing silent form start by here to get two fear. I'll push this guy out if he would get destroyed. Okay, at least they're not double blighting. Event, let's go. Uh, okay. Add a disease to inland with the most buildings that has to go. Oh, I can put it here actually. Each spirit at least three to Han gets an energy and reclaims a card. Okay. All right, cool. Add a strife to land with the Han. Ooh. Beast or disease. I lose one explorer, uh, one to Han here. I kill town back. Or I can save this land for, for the next turn. One damage to each invader, kill a town, but then this would add another town. Oh yeah, that that'd be pretty bad anyways. Okay, okay, I might as well add this blight then. Right, add a strife here then. Sure. Alright, sands will ravage, which will kill both the Han. This presence gets moved out, and the town gets added over here. Uh, and then they're gonna build. Yeah, this is getting pretty dicey. Building in the coast and exploring the wetlands. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, that is not good. Everywhere is just on fire. You'd have no Dahan to help anymore. <sighs> Do 
Maybe when damage is invader. God, that's bad. Guess I'll dissolving vapor here. One damage to each invader and one fear. Uh, I do have one damage I can do as well. Somewhere. Might as well do it down here, I guess. All right. Ooh, we can push up to two explorers. Yeah, I'll push these guys over here, I think. All right. Um. That allows me to put my presence somewhere else. Okay. All right. Uh, time's gonna pass, which means I get one, two, three, four fear and one energy. One, two, three, four, plus one energy. Do I want to reclaim? That doesn't solve anything. Because I'm already unnerving Paul on this. This land might just go. These two lands are screwed. I guess I'll get a growth three to get a power card. Fen five. They're doing eight damage there. It's good for later, I guess. Let's do this. Uh, I have plus two energy. Oh, I'll get one more energy for getting a non fire element card. All right. Put my presence in a mountain or wetlands. Let's do it down there. And I guess let's just go. One fear from Nerving Paul. Uh, these won't participate. Set the strength of multitudes, I guess. I guess I defend five here. And I will gather this guy out. Probably here. Maybe that defend can do something. Maybe it won't. They're doing 11 damage there. Okay, they're most definitely adding blight, so I'm not gonna. That part doesn't matter. One damage per beast. That's explorer dead. Added Dahan to land with two or more Dahan. Well, I guess it's gonna be like this. Uh, they want explorer and lands with two or more Dahan. Cities do last one damage. Okay, and they don't heal though. So I don't, I don't have to go back in there, but I probably will anyways. All right, Coastal's gonna ravage, so this will add to Blight. Go to Blight Island. Oh crap. Add a Blight to a land adjacent to a Blight. Oh, I'll put it down here, I guess. Okay. Um, I need to add a town because they just blighted. I'll put it there. Wetlands will build now. I don't think I can do anything about these lands. 
three, five. Oh wait, they don't double blight. I did defend for five. Five eight. Oh no, it's still at six damage exactly. Darn. Okay. So add a town to both of those. And exploring sands. Oh no. How come mountains just never explore? Time's gonna pass. Oh no, no, time doesn't pass. I need to do my slows. No, whoops. What could I do? What could I do? I could push the Han. <laughs> That's useless. I could do one damage. Or do I wanna do a single point of damage? Guess I can do that there. Oh, this just seems so bad. One. I don't see an answer to these two lands. Alright, instead of doing one damage there, I guess I'll do one damage here. But I'll still gather my presence there. I can gather to the adjacent land. Um, I will push one Dahan out, I guess. So I can do just one Dahan, yeah. Okay. Now time's gonna pass. One, two, three, four lands. So it's four more fear. And one energy. I will reclaim for a major and just pray that something will happen. Ooh. Such as instruments? Two, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, instruments. Let's, yeah, let's take it. Uh, what do I take? What do I forget though? This gives. Oh, this has like really nice elements. Okay, this is not going to help me anytime soon, I think. So I will forget that. This had fire on it, so I don't get an energy. Uh, get two energy from my trap though. So I have seven energy this turn. Right. I th yeah, I think so. I played almost nothing last turn. I can make these three skip, kill the other one. Okay. Instruments and unnerving Paul. That should be enough for this turn. So instruments will add a strife here and kill the rest of the, everything else. For three fear. Nerfing Paul, I'll get one fear and stop those three buildings from participating. In the wetlands. All right, on to the event. Out of town to a land with explorers or towns. Why not? It's kind of already sucky. Every oh, I mean, no, let's not do it there. It's still bro okay. Add a disease to a jungle or standard mountains with the most buildings. Okay, so I can stop this one. I get one energy, yay! Two little tarot, two fear cards. Add a strife in a land with or adjacent to beasts. So if I had a strife here, we're doing two plus five, so seven damage. I can kill one explorer. And then sap, okay. What else is there? They also don't build. Oh! Okay. Lands with beasts to don't explore or build. Nice. 
Remove a town explorer. From where up does he Okay, I can remove a town. I can defend both next turn without having to reclaim, which is really important. Alright, cool. Weapons are gonna ravage, so this strife is gone. This explorer is dead. Oh, this one's damaged now. He doesn't heal, so I need to lock that. Uh so sands are gonna build, so this disease will be used. Uh they don't build or explore and lands with beast this turn. And they explore mountains. Hmm. Okay. Uh slow powers though. They do have one damage. What you need to do over here, I think. So I'll do one damage to this explorer so that I don't have to worry about that next turn. Uh, that's all I can do, I think, in the slow, so time's gonna pass. That is one, two, three land still, three fear, and one energy. I'll do growth two this turn, so I'll have six energy to use this turn. Um, I don't know where to put my presence. A lot of places are kind of scary. Let's do that. You need to play sap. I can play these two cards. Uh, yeah, that seems okay to me. Alright, so, defend 5 here. That's all I can do, so onto the event. Add an explorer to land with blight. Okay, that's like almost the entire board. Push up the two explorers or one town from the land with beast. Alright, I can save a strife, I guess. Oh no, that the hound's gonna die. Um one damage to Dahan. But Dahan do one damage. I first okay, let's first kill this one. That gives me two fear. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. How far am I from winning? Pretty far. Yeah, three fear cards off. I guess I'll do the damage to the city. And this Dahan will die. All right, next. Uh, wow, that's so sad. Wow, okay, cool. Sands will ravage, defended, defended. Mountains are gonna build. Kind of concerned actually about these two mountains. Well, I'm not gonna lie. And they're exploring mountains and jungles. Okay, so very concerned now. What will I do with my innates though? I have this and I have each adjacent land. That'll be four invaders. So yeah, it's best to use fog closes in on the mountains. So let's bring them in. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. I should wipe them out though. Dissolving Vapors, I'll do one fear. And one damage to each invader. I 
think I'll use both innates, uh, both levels of suffocating shroud, my first innate I mean, to take out the rest of this mountain, so I don't have to worry about this anymore. So I basically do one damage to the city, and then one damage to each invaders, which will take care of both buildings. That's three more fear. Um, I do have Lost in a Swirling Haze, so I can push this explorer out, I guess, over here. That's fine. Yep, that should be everything, I think. I don't have to push any Dahan. I can leave him there. Or I could bring him in. Yeah, especially if I reclaim next turn. All right, I'll push all the Dahan in. Could be useful. Uh, I push one explorer, so actually you can only push two to Han. Oh wait, no, I hit all levels of the second, my second, eight. I can push a bunch of stuff. Wow. Okay. Time will pass. I need to actually count my fear. One, two, three, and one energy. All right. So reclaiming. Uh, I'll have six energy, plus I can get another power. What did I even end up forgetting? Oh, favor, that's what I put on. Nature's Connection. Don't know how useful that is. Should be playing this this turn. Don't need anything more than that, right? So I could go for energy or fear. Uh, I'm liking the sound of fear, honestly. Let's pick fear then. It has zero cost. Oh, I get one energy as well. I don't remember if I got my energy from energy per turn, but ah, whatever. <laughs> like this game is pretty locked down, I think. We should be good. So on the fast, I will use instruments over here. I do have a sacred site over there, so add a strife. This will wipe out these buildings. That's one fear, I think, actually. Yeah. And this will die to the to Han. Onto the event. Add a town to a coastal land with adjacent to a coastal town. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Don't tell me it actually has to go over here and it's gonna blight now because of. Great. That's gonna explore. Add a to Han to a. Man with the Han and no blight, so that's nowhere. All right, in each land with two or more explorers, there's not a single land with that, right? Man, these fear cards. Replaces one town. Wait, what? Or. Jason to three or more to Han. Oh.
Uh, I guess I could do it here. Doesn't really matter too much. They're gonna ravish, which means I will blight now because of that event. Great. Replace. Okay, so this will be replaced with. Oh god. Okay. One. Two lands. I guess three lands. Man, now they're gonna build here too. I had this land, this game really solved until that event. Wow. That is so unfortunate. How did that happen? It still has this damage on it though. Oh, did I? I meant to do this, right? Is that what I meant to do? Oh, I forgot. Oh, wait, no, I, I think I replaced the explorer. Okay. Um, and then this guy is gonna die now. So two more fear. Now they're building in mountain jungles. Ah, oh, now they deal with two lands instead of just one. Ah, oh, it was gonna be great. Jungle sands. How did that fear card just ruin everything? Okay, Rain of Blood can do that here for three fear. One, two, three. Could actually gather as well. I think I need to start moving them around. I should have gathered them here to adjacent land. Okay. Um, do I need to push anything? Explorer. Or Dahan. I will push this Explorer or Dahan out here and here. Maybe two here, one there. Wait, how much can I even push? Three to Han total, that's it. Okay. So yeah, three to Han, that's enough. While doing that, I will gather this presence over here. And then I'll do my other innate while gathering it over here. So I can do one damage to this town or city. And then for each adjacent land with my presence, one, two, three, four, five damage. So five invaders take one damage. Two. These are all taking one damage. And then I can do a fog hold is in there again, I guess. Unless I want to do a nerfing Paul next turn. Which I can also do. Instead, do one damage to stuff here. Or I can just reclaim. Yeah, actually, maybe I don't. I'll push the haunt here. Although I still will, I can still gather stuff here, but I will be using my innate here instead, I guess. To do two damage to a city and one damage to a town. Yeah, that seems better. And I'll use fog closes in to finish off everything. For three feet, and then I can just, uh, what's it called? Just reclaim instruments. 
which will take care of everything, which means these two explorers are still alive. Yeah, okay. I think I did everything correct, so let's go on to time passes. Only two fear now and no energy. It's gonna be rough, but I'll reclaim. Oh, I don't need to reclaim. What do I have? I played this. I can do growth two and reclaim one instead. Although that's kind of stupid, actually, in her mind. <laughs> okay, I'll get the energy instead. So I'll do reclaim and get a power card that hopefully does not have fire. That I guess works, sure. So that's one energy plus two from my track. I'll just play instruments. This game just got unnecessarily hard for whatever reason. Ah, now I need to actually double check if I did get the two energy from before. Okay, yeah, I did all the energy correct, I think. So, this will do five damage, deal two talents, one explorer. Then everything dies, this will die. I'm gonna hope the beast kills that. That means I need to do some damage like this. Perhaps. That's too much energy though. This will be, this will work. All right. Okay. Instruments. Taking out two towns and explorer. It's two fear. Uh, where do I want to dart? Oh, we'll have two fear. I guess I'll dart here. In case something dies. Oh, I need to actually make a sacred set for instruments. I'll make one here. Yep. All right. I mean, we can also just win by fear, actually. We don't have to kill all the cities. Uh, onto the event. Please don't screw me over. Let me make sure I did this correctly. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. Remove a beast from a land with blight. Well, goodbye. Beast leave this land with disease. Don't have any. Could add a more to Han somewhere. Sure. Okay. Three turtle, three fear cards though. Gather two towns. Vent four and fill some land. Oh, I can gather this explorer out at least. Okay, that'll, that'll work. What's next? Remove a town or explore from a land with presence or a city from a sacred site. Uh, I can move this town, I guess. Different land with Dahan. Two damage per Dahan there. Ooh, okay. Two damage per Dahan. So, this is already damage for two. So, four damage. They have one, two, three, four health left. Alright, so these all both die then. Or all three die, actually. 
probably two, three, four. Oh, that's that's it. Right, five here. Yep. And if that was not it, then this the ravage over here would have done it. Actually, I would have, have resolved the fear card first. Actually. Okay, wouldn't have done that much. All right. Kind of scary. Uh, I think could have gone a little bit smoother for if not for that event card over here. Uh, oh, I need to add a town actually when that blighted. Did I do that? What where would I have done? I probably would have put it in the. I don't remember if I did it or not. If I did, I would put it in here. But I guess it didn't matter in the end because I. Didn't get here. They definitely would not put it in the mountains or the jungles though. So, uh, in any case, that should be fine anyways. So, that is it. That's Shroud versus Sweden. I picked Sweden because it's the easiest difficult, <laughs> easiest ever say. I don't know how to play Shroud. I probably didn't even do do that well this game. I kind of got lucky, I think, with instruments, but. The cards would have been fine, I think. Winds of Russell Atrophy would have helped as well. Hmm. It's just a bad cards I could have gotten in the majors. It's just kind of scary because you don't have a lot of ways to stop them from ravaging as a shroud. But you do a lot of damage in the late game, though. And a lot of fear. The constant fear is really nice. Unfortunately, my fear cards weren't that helpful this game, I think. But yeah, that is it. See you guys next time.